Good morning everyone, it is Weather with Sim again, I hope you guys are all having a great day so far, and in today's video, we got a significant severe weather event that's gonna be coming in the next day or so, and this is going to be bringing a lot of hazards, including a threat for tornadoes, damaging wind, and a exactly large hail too as well so not only a damaging winds and tornadoes but also a threat for large hail too as well so we're definitely gonna have to keep an eye on the severe weather threat very closely but if we first start taking a look at the severe weather threat as you guys can see there is no hazard issued yet this is just the percentage and as you guys can see we do have a slight risk for severe weather across um southwest michigan heading into most of illinois pretty big portion of Indiana and then heading back to parts of Missouri. I wouldn't be surprised to see this enhanced risk get extended or I mean the slight risk get extended farther down to the south so to where it now it includes Cincinnati, Evansville, and Louisville but we'll have to see about that. We'll keep our eye on that too as well. And now if we look at your thunderstorms okay this is with the European model and so we're gonna go ahead and play this out for you guys so if we go ahead and play this out um, we will start to see Cape coming in as this line gets to Tuesday and as you can see this continues to grow as you see a little bit of Cape already moving and but look at this guys look at this we start to see some lightning strikes already starting to pull up and just look at that guys lots of lightning strikes across the Ohio Valley and look even more and then look even more grows too as well wow dude that is a lot of lightning strikes right there and then as you see all of that finally heads out and then we are clear with just um clear conditions across this area so pretty interesting setup and as you can see the um strongest supercells look to be around Peoria even there was there's even another one that went it across St. Louis even even some going across Southern Indiana so that is definitely gonna be something to watch closely for as we head from Tuesday night into Wednesday morning which is when the slight risk for severe weather will be issued. Now if we take a look, look at your Cape Index this looks to be a lot more extreme and you guys will see it, see it as this line heads to Tuesday so as you see we start to see kind of clear conditions across quite a bit of these areas and then look at this guys the Cape starts coming in from the south and already grows immediately with 1,000 joules per kilogram across a big portion of the Ohio Valley even across Illinois can see over 1,000 and now you see it just continues to move across the Ohio Valley bringing even more Cape and that is just going to be crazy okay so we're definitely going to need to watch for a potential significant severe weather event and for how it is looking like it definitely is looking like this could be upgraded to an enhanced risk so we're definitely going to need to be watching very closely okay and if we head back a little bit as you guys can see 1200 56,000 joules per kilogram across portions here of central Illinois and then if we head back a little bit even some thousand joules per kilogram across southern Indiana southwest Indiana southern Illinois heading into Missouri and then if we take this back a little bit more even showing more widespread 1,000 joules per kilogram across southern Indiana and then look at that even more even over 1,000 joules per kilogram across Evansville Carmite Harrisburg Morgan feel so just a lot of areas that we are going to need to be watching extremely closely but even up there towards Fort Wayne Chicago South Bent, even up there towards Grand Rapids, seeing a ton of Cape to work with as the severe weather event does get closer. But look at that, even Indianapolis, Bloomington, even heading into Columbus, even heading into Newcastle, even heading into Lafayette. So a lot of areas will really need to be watching very closely for a potential significant severe weather event. And I wouldn't be surprised to see an enhancement get issued. And that's a little bit concerning right now because Storm Prediction Center is struggling on that because as you can see lots of areas down here are even seeing 100 if why not even a thousand joules per kilogram down here in Southern Indiana, Southern Illinois and a lot more areas so this
this enhanced risk could be widespread. And if we look at the Colorado State University severe weather outlook, as you can see, it puts a lot different outlook on. Instead of saying just a 15% chance, now it's saying a 30% chance for severe weather heading across all of southern Indiana, heading into Illinois, even back to parts of um, Missouri, just uh, at least the St. Louis area. So guys, this could definitely turn out to be a lot worse compared to what the Storm Prediction Center is showing. So here's what I think could happen. Just wait one second after I get my pen out. And what I think could happen is on um, the severe weather threat will be extended across portions here of this area as you can see so i'm not sure why my pen isn't moving but as you can see i wouldn't be surprised to see this get extended into more areas this is definitely going to need to be watch pretty closely okay so make sure to keep that in mind let me try doing that again and um okay so i do apologize for that i wish i could draw out the severe water threat but for some reason it wants to say frozen but anyway as you guys can see um we could definitely see an extend into columbus we could even see it extend into cincinnati evansville maybe even nashville so we'll have to see if we do see an extend and that's because of the case as you can see, widespread 1,000 joules per kilogram across a big enough area to where we will likely see an, a 30% chance for severe weather, which is pretty much an enhanced risk. And I wouldn't be surprised to see it include Louisville, Evansville, Indianapolis, Peoria, Springfield, and St. Louis. So it will kind of look like that. So it will be massive, won't it? And if we look at what this one wants to show, as you can see, it shows the enhanced risk in a completely different spot compared to the Colorado State University. Since um, since it looks like we're going to see widespread 1,000 joules per kilogram across a pretty big area, I kind of agree on the Colorado State University a little bit, but what better that we will see um, widespread 30% chances for severe weather, but I still kind of do agree with this one that we might still see a little bit of severe weather across this area right there, but as we do head into day four, okay, as you can see, still showing some severe weather too as well, and we're definitely going to need to be watching closely, but like we can even look at the hazards if we want, and as you see, not only did they show a 30% chance of severe weather, but also a good chance for tornadoes we could see a five percent chance for tornadoes get issued we even see a 15% chance of hail and even a 15% chance for damaging winds okay so that is definitely going to be concerning like I said and I kind of do agree on the Colorado State University a little bit better that we will be seeing a really good threat for severe weather due to the thunderstorms and cape that the European mall was showing so I would definitely be taking this pretty serious if I lived in Indiana, Ohio, or anywhere else so make sure to do that. And if we go ahead and go back to this severe water threat, as you guys can see, like I said, it's not showing the enhanced risk across Indiana, but it definitely is still showing some of that severe weather could be in Indiana, but I mean that cape is just 1000 in Fort Wayne, look, 1000 in Dayton, look at that, 1000 in Evansville, so just widespread cape, which which makes sense because we definitely could see an enhanced risk for severe weather so make sure to be aware of that but thank you guys very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy this video i know the storm prediction center doesn't have an enhanced risk out and you guys might be concerned about that which is okay to be concerned about because we are still trying to figure out the severe weather so make sure to get prepared at least right now if you do live in ohio indiana sorry michigan Illinois. Illinois, Missouri, um, Arkansas, or even northern Kentucky. So if you do live in those areas, get prepared now because this could be a widespread 30% chance for severe weather. And that's going to be for this one right here, as you can see. So widespread 30% chance of severe weather could be a big concern. So make sure to be aware of that.